tell me if this sounds familiar. In life, where once there was joy, there was passion, where once there was wonderment, now it seems like at every turn, there's stress, there's some sort of difficulty, there's some sort of event, there's a trigger, there's someone who's saying something, there's some financial concern. Where once life was about dreaming and moving forward towards that dream, where life was full of wonderment, where your dreams mattered, somehow we find ourselves in seasons of life and it happens to all of us. Where we look back across the seasons we've been through and all we see is a lack of result. All we see is the vanishing of love. All we see is the diminishing of joy and our dreams they just seem so far away. Every day we wake up, we do the same things, we see the same people, the same emotional triggers are pulled and we wonder, we wonder why we don't make progress. But in this video, inside of just the next 10 minutes, I'm going to share something with you and if you can get a hold of this, this will change your life. This will shift the results that you get in your life starting today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is brain science and it works for every person, and it works every time. This could be the first day of the rest of your life. Folks, we're starting right now, so come on, let's kick on into it. Hello, good looking. Welcome to Elevate. Thanks for stopping by. I love having your company here. It's a real blessing to me, so I hope that this encourages you. I hope it uplifts you and it motivates you to move forward into your brighter tomorrow because that's what's just around the corner and that's what this channel is all about. So if it is your first time, a special warm welcome to you. Please feel welcome to join in the energy in the community that we're building. Subscribe. I'm here every day and you can talk to me in the comments love to have a chat with you. But ladies and gentlemen, today I want to speak with you about the results we get in life, about what exactly is happening when we are in seasons where we just seem to be getting the same result over and over again. Have you experienced that? You know, I wonder how many of us, as we look back across the stories of our life, recognize that although the scenery was different, the energy of the experience was actually the same thing. And this is how we get caught going in circles around the same mountains of dysfunction. We look up at the size of the mountain and think, we, we could never climb that mountain. And so we do laps around the bottom of it and we go through the same dysfunction day in and day out. We experience the same feelings and have the same emotions. We think the same thoughts, we talk with the same people and have the same conversations with them. And secretly, each and every one of us, somewhere deep inside, we hope, we hope for a brighter tomorrow. We hope for something to change, but if we are not the ones who are changing, then nothing outside of us will change. It's called inner work for a reason. The work you do to move forward is not done in the outside world. It's not outer work, it's inner work. And what gets people stuck? What gets people in seasons of manifesting the same result? Time after time, after agonizing time, it's the same dysfunction in relationship after relationship. Have you ever known people? I know I have. I've counseled with scores of people who are in a relationship and it's not working. There's some sort of dysfunction there and it ends in hurt and heartache and heartbreak and the relationship is over. And then they go straight from the frying pan right back into the fire. And it seems like only a matter of weeks has passed until these same people are back in relationship either with each other or with somebody new. And there's been no room for healing, there's been no room for inner work, for introspection, for analysing what is my part to play in all of this. When things keep happening in your life, that's the universe trying to get your attention. When something keeps happening, when you have the same dysfunction in that relationship, when you go through job after job and it's the same dysfunction six months in and we're on to a new job, when this is the story of your life, we need to take pause and look back and reflect and find the lesson 
because what triggers you is the universe showing you where you need to heal. Whatever pulls your triggers, whatever dysfunction we exist in today, when we become aware of it, and you don't know what you don't know, so this whole thing is about gaining awareness. When you become aware of the cycle, then you get back into the driver's seat because you become the witness to it rather than the experiencer of it. And that, my beautiful friend, is where all of your power is. Hey, listen, most people, they won't get this. They won't understand it. They won't let this take root on the inside of them. And that's okay because this is not about most people. This is about you. This matters just like you and your dream matters. So get your seatbelt on and buckle up because here come a couple of hard truths. The fact of the matter is, when we find ourselves in repeating cycles and we're manifesting the same undesirable outcome season after season, that is our responsibility to move through. We all want to be the victim and we all want to say, this relationship was terrible because of what this person said or did. And this job was terrible because of the boss or my co-workers. And then this thing over here, this was a problem because of all these external things. Until we come to a place of wholeness and acceptance, we won't ever move forward. And what we need to do while maintaining compassion towards ourselves, while maintaining empathy, kindness, love and grace in dealing with ourselves... We need to look for where we are responsible in those seasons. We need to recognize the seasons that keep repeating and we need to look for similarities because unless you can pinpoint the things that are happening in those seasons, you won't move forward. But when you understand, I keep coming up against this same issue at work and it doesn't seem to matter what the job is, I just keep having this conflict or this problem. I, or in my relationships, or I, I just, I have this issue with my, my financial state where I just don't ever seem to have enough and there's got to be something more to it. See, when you become the witness to the experience rather than the participant in the experience, you start to drive that boat. And when you drive that boat, you can sail into any port you want because you are in charge. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the truth of moving forward to your better tomorrow. It's about regaining your authentic power. See, you are a powerful creator. Even the scripture declares that you and God is a majority. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that has risen up in judgment against you, you shall show to be in the wrong. But you've got to be in alignment with your true self. You've got to be in the driver's seat and you do that by being the witness to the dysfunction rather than being the participator in the dysfunction. When you come up higher and take a third person view, when you reflect on your action, reflect in your action and use something in neuroscience that we call metacognition. And metacognition, put simply, is just thinking about what you're thinking about. It's being so aware so self-actualized about your thinking that you are thinking about what you're thinking about more than doing the thinking about the thing. When this becomes second nature to you, when you are consistently sitting in the driver's seat and observing the things you think and the feelings you feel and the emotions you allow to well up within you, when you are the witness to those things before you are the participator in those things, you get to decide where your boat sails and which harbour it finds its dock in. Now, we all make mistakes. We all get it wrong. We all get it wrong each and every day. Heck, I have days where I fall off the horse too. But I celebrate them. Because if every decision I've ever made in my life has led me to this point, and right where I am is right where I'm supposed to be, then those mistakes, those times when I fall off the horse, they have purpose. They serve to move us forward. And shouldn't we celebrate that? How is it that the world we live in beats us up for making mistakes to learn from? You don't learn without a mistake. Education in a classroom format is not enough to educate you to move forward in your purpose, your unique destiny. 
the only thing that is qualified to move you forward to your purpose, to live in your promised land, the only teacher that is qualified to get you there is the teacher and the school of hard knocks. It's learning your lessons well. It's looking for similarities, similarities in seasons, seeing them and coming up higher and doing something different next time. It doesn't matter what it is, just something different. Because as you keep trying different things, the universe walks gently and softly and hedges you in protection. And things just, they just turn up. And you find yourself being in the right place at the right time with the right words to say and in the right company. And things just start flowing like butter off a hot knife. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to move forward, if you want to stop living in repeating cycles, manifesting the same undesirable outcomes, think about what you've been thinking about, get back into the driver's seat, look for patterns, and just keep moving forward. Don't beat yourself up, be kind and gentle. Stand with yourself. Wrap your arm around yourself and say, hey, good looking, what are we gonna do today? Tell yourself, I love you, I'm proud of you, I'm thankful for this journey, I'm excited to see where we're going even when I don't know where that is. Dare to trust your dream and dare to trust the universe to gently guide you forwards. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you so much. I'm so thankful for you. Would you please do something for me? Would you consider sharing this message with someone? You never know what's hiding behind a smile. So pay it forward and share it on your Facebook or on your socials. Give it a thumbs up so other people might find this too. Make sure that you leave me a comment. I love having conversations with you. But before you do anything else, please do subscribe to the channel and make sure you come and visit me again tomorrow if you still want to find more information that will move you forward. There is a lot to know. These are the two videos that are going to help you get there. Go and have a look. I love you.